Cheers. Cold brew time. This stuff is making me so hyper. Hi, welcome to a new video. We're doing a thrift one. These, these tend to be my most popular videos other than uh, tattoo talk, but I am going to be going thrifting for some stuff for the store. Last weekend, my sale rack was like ransacked, which my sale rack is just basically when I'm out thrifting and I see things that I think I don't really want to mark up past five bucks, but I think would be great for just tossing on that rack. It reels people into the store, pulls customers, and um, it was just the most popular thing last weekend. Everybody was out for the sale, out for the deal. And uh, it, it was picked clean. So I basically need to find deals. That's kind of the goal today is to find things that are super affordable, which usually the Goodwill bins is where I go for that. But I was kind of feeling like going over to Gig Harbor. The Gig Harbor uh, Goodwill has always the best stuff. It has, it always gets like stuff from Target and H&M and, um, I don't know why in a lot of vintage sometimes I'll just find like a gold mine a vintage and then there's a another like smaller local thrift store across the street that's really affordable they're cash only they're very tiny they're about the size of my store honestly it's a very small little boutique thrift store but it's packed full of stuff and they're pricing is like anywhere from a dollar to five dollars which i think would be a good place to find things for my five dollar sale rack so i was thinking of popping in there and then perhaps if we feel like it on the way back we will stop off at the bins just to see if there's anything good but honestly i prefer to get to the bins earlier in the day hmm this is going to be interesting but uh it's 11 o'clock gosh i'm taking a long time to get my day going Oh, and then yeah, let's just talk about the elephant in the room really quick. Yes, I took my extensions out again. I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't want to hear it. Just calm down. <laughs> the ones that I just put in last weekend, I got some faulty ass tape. It did not stay. That or the new conditioner and treatments that I'm using on my hair that have biotin in it that I'm using to help strengthen my hair and try to get back to where I don't have to wear extensions anymore. Um, was so hydrating that when I got in the shower, even waiting two days like I normally do for the tape to set before I wash my hair, I was like pulling the extensions out. They were just falling out. I didn't even have to use a remover on most of my head. Like half of the extensions just came out on their own. And I was looking at the tape and feeling it and it just didn't feel like it normally does. So something was up with that. Outfit, I'm wearing some really awesome 90s even even mid 2000s like flare leg <laughs> levi's and they're so comfortable but they do go be below the belly button so these are old school i don't think i haven't worn a pair of pants that go below my belly button in a really long time just because like i have a little bit of a belly so high-waisted even when i didn't have a belly though high-waisted pants i just loved the look of so i'm gonna stop using the excuse of this guy, which this needs to go away. Like, I quit drinking. What is this? I will see you guys in my next location. <laughs> All right, well, that was probably my worst one yet. I had the worst panic attack going across the bridge. I usually do, and usually have to, like, turn on the AC and count to get across it which is why usually when I'm showing going across that bridge, I've got music on and that was, I went numb, completely numb. So I don't know why I do this to myself. I am trying not to let anxiety take over when I'm having panic attacks going across bridges and through tunnels, but that was bad. I'll talk about it more later. Well, of course I would pick the, uh car in the parking lot where there's somebody sitting in it <laughs> so I have to talk to myself embarrassingly in front of everybody just really needed to get out of my house today and thrifting felt right but honestly I'm too stressed out to go to the bins I just feel like digging through the bins right now sounds a little extra stressful like that is a stressful thing to do honestly so I just wanted to go to like a thrift store I knew it was usually pretty slow and chill but it's the one across the bridge and I didn't realize 
how bad my anxiety is right now. Um, so that was just like the worst, absolute worst anxiety I think I've ever had going across a bridge. And now I don't know how I'm gonna get home. I'm stuck here. I guess I'm moving to Gig Harbor, which I've been wanting to do anyway. <laughs> I really like it out here. Good God, there's people everywhere. All right, got myself a blueberry muffin and a decaf vanilla latte with oat milk. I'm hoping this calms me down a little bit because right now I want to retreat to my house so badly. And now I'm like talking myself into being afraid to leave, like being afraid to go. Mm, I hate it when I get like this. This is the worst. This is gonna stop me from coming out here. I hate that. I don't always feel this way too, but it will come on out of nowhere. It's usually getting here the way back. I'm usually okay. Okay, I'm here, but I'm perpetually in parking lots where other people are in their car next to me. Why? Why is this the why is this a thing? <sighs> of all the parking lots in all the world, you walked into mine. <sighs> I'm trying to think what would help me calm down. Or if I just want to like do this and get back to my side of town. I'm probably, honestly, I was thinking like worst case scenario, I'll put my hazards on and just go really slow across the bridge, which is just such a fucked up thing to have to do because people are like, I mean, I, there's like a right lane for that. There's like a lane and I'll just take the first exit, which isn't my exit, <laughs> but I can get home that way. If you guys suffer from any sort of it, I'm not going to say suffer because I hate that word. If you experience bouts of anxiousness that come out of absolutely nowhere for no reason at all, you know exactly what I'm dealing with right now and how there's no rational thought or anything that can fix it other than just literally talking yourself down from it. Like I'm having to in my mind keep saying you're not in any real danger except for driving across a bridge <laughs> this sucks i i'll tell you what i'm probably not gonna come out this way for some time and i knew it when i was at home i was sitting there going should i i feel okay I, i'll be fine and then it was like 10 seconds on the bridge and i can feel the wave so what i need to do is put on some like music that I love and crank the AC and if I have to put on my hazards and get in the right lane and take my time then that's what I'm going to have to do to safely get across. It's never been this bad so I'm a little bit surprised if I'm honest. Okay I'm here. I'm at the Peninsula Guild thrift store and it looks like they have a rack outside with some stuff for sale so I'm gonna hit that up and we'll see if I find anything. Okay I got a bag of stuff from there. I really have to pee. Where can I go to the bathroom? I have to go to the bathroom and nobody has toilets. What I'm gonna do? I have to pee. <laughs> you I don't know why but the way back I always have no issues on the way there I always have to like crank the air conditioning and breathe <laughs> it's my husband I'm going to the Goodwill right now currently drying all of the clothes I've got piles you guys piles I went to three places I got so much stuff I made it home I have a salad yum yum I'm gonna eat some dinner fold this laundry 
and then I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. We'll do a little haul, a little try on. I cannot wait. I've, I've got some cute stuff. I surprised myself. Hello. Oh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> what brought you back after my panic attack? Glutton for punishment? <laughs> I'm wearing clothes, by the way. Dang it, I knew this would happen. Foof my foof. Poodle the noodle. <laughs> if you came here just for a thrift video, I apologize, but I mean, I'm, I'm trying to humanize my videos and be as like, um, you know, giving you little pieces of who I am as a person too, so that you're not just here for the robotics of it all. Does that make any sense? I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I just wanted to explain why I had a panic attack because I think um, a lot of people, when I when I shared it on social media, I just like made a joke about how I was like, the things I do for thrifting on Instagram, on my stories, and a lot of people messaged me about their anxiety. And I was actually surprised how many people were like really open about it. And I don't mind sharing it, but then also I don't want people to get the wrong idea that I'm afraid of like driving on bridges because I'm afraid the bridge is gonna collapse. That's like not why. And it's more about um, like feeling stuck. It's like feelings of stuck. So I get really claustrophobic if I feel like I don't have an exit. So if there's no way out of a situation, I get very, I get, I feel stuck. So I have this feeling when I go out to eat with groups of people in restaurants, I tend to get a little locked in and feel stuck. Um, on planes, when I get my hair done, when I get my nails done. And it's not every time, it's just it comes on and when it does, it comes on like out of the blue and will usually surprise me. So that was, I was not prepared for that because I felt fine when I left my house, so. Yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say that and get that out of the way because a few people thought that I was afraid of, um, even my own husband was like, you know that bridge is like really secure. I'm like, it's not that. It's not like afraid of the bridge falling to pieces. <laughs> it's being stuck on the bridge and not having an option to get off of it. So that's why I count to get across. And it's only going there, it's not coming back. I think it's because I know I'm heading home. <laughs> And so I'm like able to barrel through it. Well, I don't speed, but I get through it. Anyway, let's get on to the thrifting. Just wanted to clear that up. <laughs> I got a lot and I went to a few places and I scored at most. Most of this is for the store. A few pieces are for myself. It's hot up here. Okay, let's get going. And sorry if I look naked. Oh, let's just talk about this. This is the first thing. So this is a little seafoam blue green um, like bandeau style summer dress. It's a little boobalicious, but it's it's really something I would just wear around my house, uh, doing yard work or just hanging out in the backyard, laying by the pool. Plan on putting the pool up soon. And I think it would be really cute. So it's just really comfortable. I don't have to wear a bra and one of those things that I can throw on on a hot day. So it's perfect for summertime and it was like a dollar. Uh, let's talk about the first dress that's for sale. So if you're interested in any of these items, just go to paperdolls.shop and you can check out any of the things that are available in my thrift store that are worthy of uploading to my website. Some things on my sale rack, obviously not, nothing on the sale rack is gonna be available in store, but um, anything that I think that's worth it is up on the site. This is one of the first things and it's so cute. Isn't this the cutest dress? I'm gonna say that word a lot. Just prepare, cute alert. <laughs> Take a sip of lemon water with ginger in it. Every time I say cute in this video and you will be so incredibly hydrated by the end of it. Uh, this. I would call it like a jean blue, baby blue, and off-white color dress is so soft and so adorable and so flouncy bouncy. And I love this little tie that goes across. The only thing is, is that I'm a double D in my breasts and I feel like it makes me look a little bit, um, like top heavy. It just, it really accentuates the, the boob area on me. I guess I'll see more in the cutaway if this looks that great on my body style and shape, which is curvy. 
Um, so if you're a C cup or a B and you're a medium large, this would fit you really well. This dress, I almost put it back because I thought, is it too ugly? But is there such a thing as too ugly when it comes to me? I don't think so. It has a cape for crying out loud. A cape! What dress have you ever seen with a cape? It's wild. It's bizarre. It's kooky. I love it. I actually ended up liking it a lot and I knew that I would, but I think this would be a really cool thing to style up. I think having some sort of really cute waist belt with it or even a vest over top of it so that the cape can kind of billow out in autumn, end of summer. This is a really good end of summer September dress. That's what I'm going to call it, my September dress, because it's long sleeve. So when things get cool again, you've got something on your sleeves, but it's short and it's gingham blue and white. Gingham blue and white, I feel like seasonally has to kind of end around summer, like, doesn't it? Gingham obviously can continue on in various other colors throughout the season. Obviously Christmas, hello. But blue and white, that's picnic. This thing is one of the first things I'm going to be keeping for myself. Unexpectedly loved it. I thought this was for sure gonna go in the store. And then I put it on my body and saw the way that it fit. And I am desperately in need of black clothing, believe it or not. After COVID, when the makeup artists were all furloughed, I said, I'm over it. So anyway, long story short, I've decided to recollect it, get some new stuff because I plan on doing some more makeup-y uh, jobs and stuff here coming up and I want to look a little bit more professional. I can wear, because it's my store and I make the rules, I can wear other colors, but I do want to have more professional black options and this just looks really clean and cute and it's lightweight, so. It's keeping, I'm, I'm keeping it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you liked it, I'm keeping it. But you can have this. <laughs> this is so adorable. This jumper, oh God, it almost fit me. Almost fit me. It ties closed in the back, so you kind of just like step into it and then it closes at the top. So it's really easy to get in and out of for those of you who are like, I hate things that you have to get naked to pee it's not too bad to get off on and off. Uh, and then it has this elasticated waistband and then a tie as well to help cinch you in. It's double lined, <clears throat> it has pockets and it's just adorable. This would be, I would say, um, anywhere from a medium to a large. Well, hello, <laughs> Tina. Oh, go get some water if you're out of breath with me. If you're out of breath with me. I was able to get it on me though. Just a little tight. Very cute, very cute. Hands off, you can't have it, this is mine. <laughs> no, but for real. Are you guys really gonna wrestle by me right now? Anyway, when I first saw this, I was actually like, what is this? It, it didn't really make a lot of sense. I'm so glad I gave it a second chance. And the reason why I did is because I go a lot off of, when I'm digging, deep digging, deep diving, I go off of feel a lot of the times. I'm going through the rocks quickly and I'm just feeling quality. And that's the first thing that I touch is the quality of the clothing and if it feels like the fabric is good enough. And then if I like the feel of it, then I'll look at it more. <laughs> and this had a really good feel to it, but look at it. It was like, I didn't understand what it was. I thought it was maybe a robe or like a maternity thing or something, I couldn't figure it out. It was just so much material. Then it took shape and look at the cut of this glorious thing. Oh my God, that I love this thing so much. This was such a good find. It totally feels like free people quality. It has all of the ruffle details on the sleeves. It's completely see-through buttons all the way down the front. It's so drapey and flowy. It's a dream and I love it so much. And if I got this at the bins, then I paid the weight of it, which would be about two bucks, maybe not even. 
So I got a really good deal on this depending on what they're charging for weight right now at the Goodwill bins. So total score and keeping till I die. <laughs> I'm keeping this one forever. That is a staple item to have in my closet. And I just happened to grab also this black slip that was kind of almost in that same area. And at first I was like, I don't really need a black slip, but do I have one? I don't have one. I'll just grab it. Totally tossed it in. Again, if you're paying off of weight at the Goodwill bins, then this was less than a dollar because it's so light. But I'm glad I grabbed it because that dress is completely see-through and this goes under it perfectly. So these two are kind of meant for each other. What a total steal finding that. This does not fit me, but oh my god, whoever gets it, it's one of those things. I'm so jealous. This would be for... It doesn't have the sizing on it, but I'm going to say it's probably around a small petite or small. Yeah, because the thing is, is that the only way in and out of it is this like eyelet hook at the top and there's no zipper. There's no zipper to get in and out. So it's a pull over your head, got to slip into it, but it's embroidered. So that actually is embroidered flowers that lift off the dress. It's not the pattern and it's like a cotton blend. It's so soft, it's so cozy. There's not a single stain on it. It's in great condition and it's the most adorable little summer dress. I just think it's so cute. If I had this in my size, I would love it and keep it forever because I just love the shape of it. I like that it has this kind of shape. So like, like how flattering is that? Um, another thing that won't fit me, so congratulations to you if you were a size small is it small? Yeah, it's small. Look at this dress. It still has the tag. Still has the tag. Oh, it's so cute. It's paint like a painted floral pattern. And it has the apron style front pockets. I love that. I love that on a dress. Pardon the Shih Tzu hacking. I don't know why they're, it's so hot up here. I don't know why they would want to be up here with me especially since their dad just got home and they should be down there with him. Uh, it does have adjustable straps if anybody was wondering and the brand, I've never heard of it before, but it's called One Clothing Los Angeles. It, it looks like something you would see possibly at like TJ Maxx, but it's so cute. And yeah, someone's gonna really enjoy that. I can't wait to see who ends up with that. That's gonna probably be one of the dresses featured on my mannequin coming up soon. This called Sayberry. It's a hundred percent cotton made in India wild dress. This just reminds me of like a playground. Doesn't it just look like a playground or like a elementary school's decor? <laughs> it just looks like kid clothes, but not. It's like a clown suit. Again, with the clown. I'm having a clown themed month, but it's just the most bizarre dress and I thought it would just be a cool thing to have on the racks at the store and then I put it on and I kind of ended up loving it and I can see myself having fun belting it or harnessing it and just putting on a cool hat and some sneakers or something and just having fun with it so I do want to wear it first and see if I end up wanting to keep it in my collection because I am trying to make sure that my closet has unique pieces. I don't want it to look like an H&M. I shop at H&M a lot, but I don't want my, I want it to be a curation of things that bring me joy. And this brings me joy. It makes me so happy. I love it. It's weird, you know, it's just weird and weird clothes make me happy. So I'm gonna hang on to this little fella. He kind of, won me over. Sorry if you like it, but I really, really like it. So I'm going to play with it for a little while. Barely fit this one. It was a little tight across the chest, so it'd be more for a C cup or less. Uh, but I love the design of it. It's almost like a parachute feel. So it's really lightweight, really flowy. It's super cool. So if you were like wearing it on a hot day, it would be so breezy and feel so good on. And it would be even nice with like a bathing suit underneath it. If you wanted to wear like a white bathing suit and pop this over top, it has a belt on the side. And I really like that there's like three tiers, three different tiers of ruffles towards the bottom. 
which is just a nice shape. I like that that look. It looks like a flower petal almost. Um, no brand name on it, but it does have some elastication on the back, so it's a little bit, you know, forgiving. This one's tainty. Tainty. Tainty, tainty. I mean, look at that. It makes me feel huge. Back when I was a four, <laughs> this would have fit me. I can't believe I was ever a four in a B cup. It was a whole lifetime ago. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> this is a White House black market. Really nicely made. I think it's cotton. I love White House black market. I remember when I used to freelance at the Nordstrom in downtown Seattle at that Mac. On my breaks, I would just walk around and look for like somewhere to get a quick bite. And I would always walk by the White House Black Market and think to myself, wow, what type of people can shop there? That looks so expensive and just so professional. And I just always looked at it like it was unattainable. And so I don't know why I have this weird kind of like connection with this brand, but um, oh cute. Those kids are doing something 4th of July. Oh, are they selling lemonade? That's very cute. It's really nice. It has this tie front to it. So it gives it a little bit of like shape that you can pull in and ruche. Um, size two, extra small. This dress I thought was so cool. It's like this neon green with this blue tri trim around it and then a black skirt. I was able to get this onto my body to at least feel what it was going to look like because I was curious. The skirt underneath it is like a mini skirt. So it's a little more tight and a little more short. And then the one on the outer edge of it is like this really nice flowy overskirt. So it has like a couple of layers of length and it looks really nice. It feels really nice on too, it's really soft. And then I love this, it goes down the center of your back. So it fits like across like that. It's cool. <laughs> This is a really cool dress. It's saying that it's a large, but it didn't really fit me. Um, it does zip up the side. It still has the like tag thing here, so this is never worn. But yeah, zip up the side if you want to get into it. And um, yeah, cool dress, really cool dress. It looks like something fun to like go out with your friends. Maybe like brunch with some strappy sandals. That'd be cute. Here's a black dress for you. <laughs> I seem to have selfishly kept two of the ones that I love. This is the A New Day, which is the Target brand, but I love them so much. And they do a lot of cotton blend, really nice. Hear it? It's cotton, it's good stuff. Really cute dress. Um, doesn't fit me, I couldn't try it on, so it's definitely for like a B cup or C cup, and it's a size medium. So it'll go more for, you know people a little bit smaller than me. Got two pairs of Levi's jeans. One is a pair of 501s, the other is a pair of 514s. The 501s are button fly and they're perfectly worn. Like, oh, what a dream. A little bit of a boot cut, really nice pants. I mean, I love Levi's. That's what I had on yesterday. Um, but yeah, these jeans are they're amazing so i wasn't sure if i was going to carry things like this and then i decided that if they're levi's i will because they're my favorite jeans and then these ones are very similar but they're boot cut um oh and then the sizing is 31 for the 514s and then the 501s are 34 in um waist but the 34 they fit me but they didn't really go around my butt and my hips so you'd have to be a little bit a little bit slimmer in the um like curve area, if that makes sense. Why? It's got almost like a corseted top to it with this bust cup upper body part. It's just so cute. It's velvet pais paisley. So it's very, this just reads 90 to me, 90s, 90s style. Would be so cute with combat boots. You can put a t-shirt on underneath it, like a really cute white t-shirt underneath it. Really play it up with different accessories. It's tiny. It's more for a, I think it's like a small to extra small. It's got pockets and it's double lined. Adorable. Adorable. No brand name or anything on it though, so sorry I can't give you that, but it's the cutest thing. Someone's going to be very, very stoked to have that dress. This, another summer dress. This is a extra small. 
cotton blend. Gosh, you can barely see it, but it's white and like a mint green and it's got a little bit of a drop waist to it. So if you're not into that, that's not going to be for you, but that can be really cute on the right person. And it just looked really simplified and dainty. I don't know. Something about it I really liked. Like if this was my size, I would totally wear the crap out of it. It's just one of those dresses. It's easy to pop on, throw on some sneakers, throw on a hat, go for a walk, you know. This one is so pretty. I thought this was gonna fit me. I was surprised that it didn't, but it's a little tighter around here than I expected. So it is a size medium and it's a beautiful dress, very boho, all the way down maxi dress style, down to the floor, but it just has a neat pattern to it. And I like this color, like combo, gold and teal and blue. And yeah, it's just neat. It looks like almost like a feather, but um, yeah pretty simple uh yeah actually really all that I have left is just some shirts I'm gonna go through them quick because these are just gonna be kind of random I doubt I'll put these on the store's website I just don't put a well sometimes I do anyway there's this hot pink crop which I'm gonna hang on to for a second because I think it, this would be really cute with shorts and I might keep it because look how this would look so good with a tan so I'm thinking I'm gonna hang on to this one for a minute. I didn't really keep a lot of stuff for myself this time. So I think it's okay if I wanna be a little selfish for a second and keep one more thing. Cause how many things do I have? One, two, three, four. That's not bad for all this stuff that I got. Some J. Crew shorts. Those are cool. Just like a lime color, lime and lavender print. A blue shirt dress completely see-through so it's really like one of those things that would be really nice over a bathing suit or just on a day a leisure day out by the pool something like that that you just need something to toss on over top or if you're like like I always think of you know being beachfront with a bathing suit but you're gonna go have lunch like these types of things are perfect for that because they're so flowy but they still look like you're dressed up enough to be able to go have lunch and then you can wear some strappy sandals with it it's so soft and comfortable it says it's a large but it was a little snug on me mostly around the sleeve area so more on the like medium to large sizing same as this this was like was it a large it doesn't say anyway it's this really beautiful um, like, gosh, I wish this fit cause it's black and it would be such a perfect thing to wear, like doing makeup or a work, a work outfit thing, but it was just a little bit snug on the arms for me, um, which was too bad, but it's really nice. And it actually has a tie in the back so that you can cinch in the waist, which is really nice. A little boho teal top, a little orange corally blouse boho boho blouse <clears throat> whenever it comes to this kind of stuff I'm like it just has to be boho so it could be on brand <laughs> another one that's just kind of but I really like the tie it has these like little pieces of hardware on it just another little top and then this one so random but I'm kind of obsessed with Liz Claiborne I might hang on to this and try to style it for myself see if I like it that is it you guys i am done i hope this wasn't so long it probably is but it's a thrift haul and it's hard to do those short i just it's especially when you get this much but i want to make sure that you guys saw everything in case any of you want to buy any of it and just so you know i don't crazy mark stuff up like i feel like i keep things pretty affordable and i talk about that with customers that come into my store all the time when they're like this is so affordable i'm like yeah i know i'm trying to like make sure that you feel like you're still getting the deal um so i really have to hunt for deal deals like going to stores that have really reasonable prices or are having sales grabbing things specifically that are marked down that day that kind of stuff so it just takes a little bit of finagling on my end to make sure that i can keep my prices reasonable so that when you're thrifting it feels like you're thrifting um so hopefully you feel that way when you shop my stuff but i do my best to keep them fair um but anyway i'm done thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it Please subscribe if you're not. I would really appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That's it. I'm done. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.